What's up guys, this is the Broferman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick off where we left off, uh, this army of Didier Giscar has sailed around the northern flank of the Russian defences and has hit Archangelsk. And I decided to fight this battle because I think it might be a bit fun to fight the Russians. So let's crack on. So this will be our in the Russian Empire and I want to work my way west toward Petersburg. With my main army I want to go west towards St. Petersburg to gain a, a troop manufacturing town. Um, and then as I head eastwards I'll recruit another smaller stack anticipating that there won't be that many um, which could be a which could be a, a, a fool's hope but we'll but it's the one I'm going with for the moment so let's We're going to fight each other over the town. The trouble is, this is kind of the best place for artillery, so... Let's add a couple of units of line. Maybe it's spread to the right. So let's do that, that. It's not a terrible position. So, probably put these two units on the flank. And spread out some of my pikes. Then my elite, uh, the core of my army, are going to hold the left. Because they're going to be the ones that will be tasked to go into the town if need be. Then let's drop my howitzer behind the lines. Firing quick line. General in the rear. Crassiers on the left. Actually, on the right, probably, because that's where they're getting most free. She may as well make them fire round shot. If anything's within range, they are. So I am actually going to move up. These are my elite infantry, so I feel pretty confident with those. Let's move. This goes up towards the town. Let's deploy you guys wide at a run. Let's bring my cuirassiers and engage their regiment of horse. So my cavalry should win. Heavy cavalry versus a fairly light cavalry. So the bulk of their infantry has gone left, so I'm probably going to want to keep my support and infantry all towards this way. Unless I go to rush take this farmhouse. be fun. Rush, take the farmhouse. Rush, take the town hall. Rush up into supporting position. You're too far out of it. You're going to move up and in prepare to engage. So the left is wearing the right is wearing particularly strong, so need to keep on with that. What are you? Are you militia? You are militia, so I'm probably gonna smash into you with my heavy cavalry. So you also want to do something like this. And run into position because you're gonna engage the provincial militia. Oh no, you can't get in. So, it's too many of these guys to get up in there. So 
So, quick climb shots can get in here. So this is going to be a bit of a bloodbath in the middle, particularly those militia. Are you, meant to be, are you running? You absolutely are not running. You should be firing at the militia. Sounds like quick climb coming in. You need to position yourself here. Run them up to support my cavalry in case they get bogged down. You guys keep advancing. Ah, oh, Swiss Pikes, what are you doing back here? So the left flank is falling. Push around to try get them to rout. So their militia has engaged me. I'm losing against this regiment of foot. However, their line of unit is routing. So we have to engage the Russians. My pike's behind back here, didn't I? Key error. There we go, we have won the combat in initially in inside the town. Let's position you. Let's position you here. to fire on that Cossack unit, my Swiss line and a unit of Swiss Grenadiers, they're going to come around here and hit the flank from the side. Hit the unit of line infantry, this is their weak. Bring this infantry unit around the flank. Grenadiers provide give fire onto that foot unit. Okay, let's halt my howitzers because they have the power to actually destroy me. Then just get everyone in my combat. The only remaining unit is this foot line infantry. Got them. There you go. I'm quite happy with this actually, because you managed to uh, storm a Russian territory. Let's halt my artillery before they kill me all. Just a lot of guys there. Yeah, let's end the battle. We've successfully captured the town and a priority the the centre of my push into Russia. So we've secured the town and there is n oh, there some stacks of troops nearby. Nothing to be too bothered about. Fortunately I can't build walls. That's one for next turn. So the key will be to reinforce and for... No, fortunately we have good roads, but none of them head west, so it will take them a few turns to get to us. 
Region captured Archangels. Good. So we still have the British Isles. I would like to go knock out Iceland just to get rid of them in the end turn phase. But we have to maintain our push against the Russians in the center, although it looks as though that has failed dismally. So what I might do is actually bring them back to the bridges. Hold the choke points to protect my territory. That's Geno Geno oh, yeah, Genoa took Athens, didn't they? That was silly of me. Okay. So I would like this army, which is being recruited in Paris. Monsieur? Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. But I'd like this army, when it's been recruited, I want to sail them up and land them uh, in Crimea. Then maybe take uh, Chikask. Start to create a southern threat to the Russians as well, because right now they're my only real enemy. Yeah, the Cherokee, which I'm going to deal with, the Mughals, meh. Uh, Russia and Persia. Persia I'm not that bothered about. At least not yet. But yes, the Cherokee, we are on our way. And then that'll be North America secure. Northwest Territories. Well, you just may as well go to the border here. You may as well get to, actually, you may as well get to their actual country border. Oh, that's all. Yeah, you have to get to the border here. Well, no. I've done this before. The, Yank, the, the, black, the guys at the, uh, the, in the Black Hills absolutely spanked me last time, so I might actually not bother with them <laughs> in this campaign. They might as well just be fine. I'm pretty sure I don't need them for my objectives. Yeah, Louisiana will join my nation if I capture Cherokee territory, so I might end up getting all this back. <laughs> Which would be cool. Um, yes, you know what? I might not fight them, because I'm pretty sure for my victory conditions as well I don't need them. Well, yeah, I've got... See, so I've got all of my total total victory conditions, but the ones I need to hold, um, I've still got a ways to go. It's Liguria, which is in Europe, I think. Hindustan in India. Cherokee Territory. Michigan Territory. Yeah, so I will need to declare on Spain at some point. And Spain again for Flanders. Corsica's Genoa. It's in India. Algonquin Territory. That's... It's Algonquin Territory. Sweden as well. Yeah, lots of lots of wars. So Russia's kind of a sideshow, but at the same time, uh, I think it'd be fun. And then I need to start, build up a handful of stacks and start waging war in India. Land and take Calcutta, because it's useful. Land and take Katak, because it's useful. And Karnataka, because it's very valuable. Yeah, I think that'll be a plan for me. So we've got the Indi yeah. So the Indi America faction is going to be sorted by this chap. Take Cherokee. Take Cherokee. These guys. Mm, I might take one of these back. Mm. So at some point, Spain's going to declare war on me. They just are. Even though we're allies, we're deeply negative. They hate the fact I've dishonored treaties in the past, and they hate the fact that I've expanded as much as I have. And they've got, I got an alliance, and then I have an alliance with an enemy nation, which is probably Austria. No. They're at war with Knights St. John, Dagestan, Russia, Ottomans. Spain, Austria, Genoa. Hmm. I'm confused. Oh well. Doesn't matter. How's the research and tech coming along? Very strong, because everyone's just brilliant. I'm probably going to stop you researching that at some point. Ooh, Shrek, don't worry about shortened carbines. Up on to platoon firing. Let's get that plus one training level for my infantry. You don't bother with the rockets. Instead, go straight on shrapnel shot. That's a better use of your time. I need to go see if I can build a naval college in Paris next turn. No, I already have one. Ah, can't do that one because I don't have machined rifling, which will be soon. Cool. Alright, let's hit end turn. Yeah, my navy's come back. Okay. 
So let's see what the Russian response is to that. They could well get more aggressive in Europe. Oh, Austria, you could just you could have just taken their town. What? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna deploy and support you. You should be fine. I mean, this is quite a nice little army actually. Some marines, garrison guards. I nah, just auto it. I mean, I didn't want to not help them. They're my ally. That would be crazy talk. So let's see where the Spanish go. I am curious to see if the AI will... Well, if the AI will break alliances if someone declares on me and they have to make the choice. Ah, <gasps> oh, the Spanish beat the Maltese. I want to see if they'll invade the island. Today, I have never seen Malta get invaded. They demand Portugal for Lombardy. No. Eventually, if they go, for, eventually they will just go for me in Portugal. <gasps> oh no! They pull back. I'm still at peace with the Ottomans. Because the Middle East is now a bit of an, a bit of an awkward position. I haven't got the the money or the interest to drive expansion in that area. So I have no reason to break the peace. The Ottomans, because they'll want their territories back. You guys are going to be awful sore when I eventually capture Moscow. You're going to be livid. Well, they're not heading my way. That's a good thing. They're going to start blockading me. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Well, they're moving up. Radio. So we've got the Russians pushing in, in in strength towards Berlin. Three stacks. I've got one, which may or may not be a problem. Where are you going? Please, go capture it, whatever you want. Because if you get it, I might actually wait to see what you do before capturing Cherokee territory. Because if you do, I get it. <laughs> Seemingly, I get it. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms. Yeah, tented farms, a new town in Ireland. Smiths. Let's upgrade your dock. New infrastructure's all tipped up. Right here, back at Archangelsk. So I'm not going to get there in time to build a town. I'm not what? I'm not going to be able to build a fort in time for these guys. But I think they should be fine. There's just a couple of ragtag units of infantry. No artillery at all. Which is lovely. Let's upgrade my infrastructure. I don't need a gunnery school in London. Not yet. There you go. Just keep upgrading my economic buildings to a point because I do want to buy some troops so I don't want to spend all my money I mean while it does earn me it's better for me in the long run while it's better for me in the long run I do want another army so you've got a bunch of artillery you've got elite infantry you've got good cavalry a lot of good cavalry so let's get you some regular infantry. Come on. Okay. Let's get two of you. Then let's get... I want some kind of skirmishes. Hessian Jaeger. Sound good to me. Oh, I think I might be one too many infantry. So let's do that. Good. Then that'll be proper full French army to send 
somewhere. See, at some point I need to take I take this. I could see a way to giving up Portugal if they gave me Lombardy and Brussels, but I don't want to trade for it. There we go, and it's... The trouble is, do I want to defend... Well, I think I do want to defend Lisbon. If they, if they get a real, you know, hard-on to try take Portugal, then I want to have troops here to defend it. Ultimately, if I can weather a few sieges... I'll, I'll, I'll wait for now. Well, no, if I wait, I might not have enough time to build up my defenders, because my infrastructure is so damn brilliant. But there you go, that. Oh, that's more than enough. I need four. Let's make it regular line infantry, actually. There we go. Trade with Radiant, unit recruited, first rate ship of the line, Bay of Biscay. Cool, the first action of this. At Louis Thomas Belcher. It's Brother Belcher. Just go knock out these Russian ships. Nous sur les mers. No, I don't want a sloop of war. I'll take the money. Arrimé, un Let's have you block off the straits. Mm, I would have you actually raid, but there's no one actually worth... No one I can raid. It's Amsterdam... Replenish you. You don't. So you don't need any of these, any more elite units, any more of a barracks yet, because you've got plenty of interesting recruiting options there. Let's upgrade Strasbourg, because I might need to do some emergency recruiting on the fly. Let's build a new barracks, because they're just useful to have. Does this gain any port? Nope, no ports. But we're ready for when the Russians counterattack. Or I could, when this army's rebuilt, sail this army up here as well. Send one west to Petrovskaya, send one east to take Utsilovsk, to take Komi. You know, to start just flanking around and taking all these rear f Russian areas. Because does one of these have a. Nope. 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 What is that? I was wondering if one of these had a military governor's barracks. You do. But I don't want to go too far around. I don't want to go all the way down here. Maybe if I took those three, I'd then push them west to threaten Moscow, because by then, the other army should have taken Petrovskaya and St. Petersburg. I think that's a plan. Fighting sailor, fighting sailor, call under fire. Lots of good stuff for this admiral. In which case, then, I might just spend my money on economics. I need to find some use for you, but you'll be in, in the next army I generate. There's a regiment of infantry. But yeah, that'll be the core of a new army, I suppose. So I've got a spy down away Madrid, got a spy there. Where else do I want to keep an eye on? In here, probably. In the Italian interior. Building a fishery. But yeah, this is my area of concern. My 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 point of concern. So now I've got this army, we should be able to do a fairly bang up job in denaturing some of these Russian stacks as they move forward, but it's a lot of damn troops. If they commit to move up in large numbers. Oh, yeah, let's replenish you, because the Austrians, the nasty Austrians, have ruined you. Yeah, let's go with the military buildings in Berlin, because you're probably that's probably going to be, be important. Right, let's hit end turn. And I need to stop that army. I want to see where the... Where the... Uh, Louisianans have sailed their invasion force. Knowing my luck, it'll be unfortunate, and they'll go and hit uh, India right off the bat. <laughs> well, that'd be interesting. So if the Russians push to the push the southern the southern bridge, or well, think I might be blocking their way. Oh, the Spaniards are going to be on on the move. 
And they're chasing down the Russians, which is nice of them. Good, you just keep on walking. Alright, why'd you... No. They must really hate Genoa. The only one they, the only one they need, need to walk through me to get to is Genoa. And I'm not going to have the Ottomans on both flanks. The Genoans, while I don't trust them long term, uh, they are at least allies. Was that, was that, I thought they were Austrians or rebels. I missed them. Oh, good. They're just. They're going to go raid my stuff, which is. Fine. Oh, definitely would like that second army there then. If one time one, if one's going to waste their time raiding. Come on, Louisiana. Where are you sending your army? Persia's going to start. Oh, oh, the Mughals are. Now they've finally got a land border to me. They're going to try it on. It's not going to work, though. Sorry. Oh, don't you try it, Genoa. There is a port in this region that Ooh. has not yet been Missionary in Brandenburg. Lovely. Select Georgetown. Let's make you halt here. Make you replenish in case they try to break out. And let's upgrade. Enemy raid, yeah, lots of raiding up here. Yeah, just that you know grenadiers. Let's yeah. take this block of infantry, get you into here. Okay, let's bring you guys out, because I sense a natural army build up here. Two howitzers, two cavalry, one infantry, join them. Garrison the fort. So then let's take you. Get you embarked. And then let's get you up here. To deploy your army. Lag, 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 lag. Moving ships. So then let's get you a general. Timothée Destre. Hey, that's a class of frigate or something these days, isn't it? Vaguely familiar. Right, so we've got a couple more artillery. Would be useful. Heavy horse artillery. Let's get some 218 pounders. There will be a limit to the amount of these I can have on the field. Then let's get two skirmishes. Ooh, Chasseur de Fischer. Let's get two of them. Then we need some infantry. Those look pretty cool. With the Royal, Royal Bav 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 Bavay, Bavois. So who are you? Regiment raised in January 1st, 1709, for the Count of Bavaria, a natural son of the Electors. The last regiment created during the reign of Louis XIV. Hmm. Well, that's cool. So I'm going to get three of you. And I get the other three BBA Gilby Regiment. Excellent. It'll be a lovely little army when it's all said and all finished. So, the maximum. I can get twenty-four. I can get twenty-four pound of guard artillery. Range nine hundred, accuracy forty-five. Let's compare that to oh, and twenty-four hundred Gribbal. So they're slower, but they're more accurate, which makes sense. Eighteen pound of horse guard artillery, which means I'll have massive, massive uh, chains of troops and support accompanying them. Louis the fifteenth. Louis XVI has a mistress, plus one to happiness. Nobility. Lovely. Oh, yeah, just just let them raid, there's no point. So you've got tech advance, so do not hop on to carbines. Not interested. Hop on to improved coppering. So you've got mines. I may as well upgrade the happiness building. 
Upgrade the four. Not upgrade the ports. Weaver's cottage. Yeah, the magistrate's been built. Let's upgrade you. You're going to grow at some point. That's Cherokee, it's not mine. And you also need roads, advanced roads. Mines are built. And let's upgrade our helmet buildings in Upper Canada. And let's build that and add in. Good, new roads are being built. So soon Churchill will grow. Well, soon, air quotes, Churchill will grow. Then we can add that uh, product to our export portfolio. And let's keep you. Bring you down to here, actually. If I'm not going to bother to hit the uh, Native Americans, then I'll put them back for the inevitable fight against either Sweden or Spain. Wow. Boston's going to be a bit wealthy. It's going to produce lots of goods. So what's it on now? Growth, 69. Lots of high immigration which is the agriculture from the advanced roads. Ports are going to make the thing grow even faster. Industry's going to make it grow even faster. Good stuff. So my garrison in Portugal's ready. No, I've done you. Yeah, the army in France have already moved out. Good. And France is still growing handsomely. Lovely. Right, and all my tanks, good. Cool. Right, let's hit end turn and see what happens. Yeah, my spies, ju just to keep an eye on what's going on in the middle of the fog of war. Right now, it, it, it would be very tempting to sta stab Austria in the back because lots of their major cities are unguarded. But I feel my... Their presence is better served to helping me counterbalance the Russians. That's where I feel like they've been, they'll be the most useful. Selective breeding of steam pump land drainage. No. I've got four or five universities on the go. I do not need anyone's help in advancing my technological state. Ah, oh, yeah, you're worried now, aren't you? You're pulling back. Ah, oh, the Russians lost on the field. Aha, so the Russians are inbound. Oh, they're just going to raid again. At this rate, I'll have my uh, walls built. And my other army will be here to help support. So the Persians are off. The Mughals are on the way. They're bold enough to actually try attack me, I think. The Genoans gonna have to pick another invasion force. They they have been my favourite faction so far. That's so interesting. Opportunity to intercept? No. I want there is Quebec territory to happen. For farming in this region. The town merges in Huron territory, so let's get a craft workshop. See, I've just got selective breeding as well, so that would have been a real waste. See, there's nothing useful you can really do that won't take forever, so you may as well do selective carbines, or shortened carbines. Wine estates finished, corks got their iron workshops, the ceremony's been built, wine yards have been built, farming upgrades, steam engine factory. the roads and build another one. Next level roads, sugar mills and military buildings. Good. I may as well, when I've got spare money I may as well just upgrade my military buildings everywhere because you never know when it might come in handy. Good, so they're inbound to that army. That's going to be a fun fight. Oh god, you need investment. Amsterdam, I'm so sorry. Don't even need neighbor board. Only need one. 
Well, the, the advanced naval attacks, you only need one, really. Ah, so the Bavois are coming from Alsace Lorraine. Fascinating. And the Royal Sudwa. Need to bring them into the fold eventually. Farm. Farm. So, how goes converting Hanover? Slow business. But let's hop up to here. Drop them off here. Like, there's no real point in having my fleet just hang around up there, so I may as well just pull them back. Yeah, two turns. we will take them a turn to raid that and come back. And then maybe on the second turn they might get in within reach, but then Yamada, Gaspar, De Clément, Tonnerre will engage them, even though they are not very elite. Neither are they. East European mercenaries, regular like regular line, slightly more elite line. All they've got is a bit more melee attack. Cossacks, conscripts, horse, grenadier guards. Lots of cavalry, 23rd and 27th. Just bows and levy. We're going to charge them down with our cavalry. We're on the 128th, 129th regiment of foot. That's pretty cool. 91st regiment of foot. Grenadiers, 9th, 8th. Cool. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.